Hey guys, Nui here, and uh, I am just on one of my uh, newer characters. I'm getting ready to head in and start leveling this one out. Um, but uh, before I do that, I wanted to do a quick, um, a quick little 101 video for you guys, as far as like new players and a lot of what I see you guys do, simply because you just don't know about it. So um, what this video is mainly going to cover is. Um, a lot of control clicking and shift clicking and what I mean by that is um, when you first get into PoE uh, you might not know but instead of um, when you get all these items and you get numerous items uh, I know my bag is a little empty right now but when you get plenty of items and stuff you don't have to drag and drop them into like an area like as you can see this in my inventory so you don't have to drag you don't have to drag and drop them like that instead what you can do is control click them so whenever you control click it'll go immediately over there uh okay hold on i need to i don't know why it does this sometimes but there it is so you'll see it's there so you can just control click and you can do this from from inside your inventory or from inside of your stash tab you can just control click things over so that you don't have to continuously drag and drop this is really useful for things like stacks and stuff because um, it saves you time when you're just going through and you want to quickly get items over here. It saves you time, especially, and this works when you're selling things as well. So when you come over and you want to sell things, uh, you can literally like go over to Nessa or something, and then you can just click, uh, if you click sell items, you can control click, and this is how you can go through and control click things really, really quickly. Now what this also is, um, what I also noticed is that uh, a lot of you guys don't know that you can actually, um, so, what are these? No, nothing's, nothing here is, like, enchanted or anything. But, like, what you can do, instead of, um, pressing click and then, um, like, control, pressing right click and then identifying one item at a time, what you can actually do is if you hold shift, you can identify numerous items at a time without having to go back to the scroll squad and click it again. So this will save you time when you're going through identifying things because you can just go through and then click all the things as long as you're holding shift. So this is just one of those things that um, I know it's not really covered a lot and it's not something that people are really yeah. used to doing or would you really don't have a lot of indication that it would happen. But this is just like a quick way to um, reduce the time it takes to identify items and stuff like that. And then what another thing you can do is when you go to when you see a new area or if you like mess up an area or if you're playing with your friends and they kill a boss and you're stuck and you can't get through stuff and you need to re-kill that boss, what you can do is if you go to the very entrance of that area, you can control click on the door and then you can create a new instance. So this is really useful for like for instance, I was watching a streamer and uh, she had killed her friend had killed Maribel and she was stuck and couldn't get to Act 2 because he had killed Maribel and she was not, she was in the same area but she wasn't in the boss kill zone. So she didn't get the actual credit for it. So what she had to do, what she tried to do was just wait for it to reset and did a whole bunch of things. But what she really could have done, she's gone to the entrance and after talking to her for a bit, we got her to do it and showed her how. Um, she just goes to the actual entrance and she's able to create the new instance and then she was able to kill the boss and move on. Um, this isn't really talked about, and it doesn't really ever get gone over or anything like that, but it's a really useful way to um, reset an area if you just need to get through it, or even if you just need to farm, because then like, some places are just good for farming. If you're struggling with a boss, you might need to farm and level up a little bit. So what you can do is just find a nice area that you're comfortable killing things in, go to it, kill a couple things, get your level, and then reset the area so that you can farm it again. Um, it's just a quick way to play through the game and really get to um, comfortable areas or or farm XP or just things like that. It's just um, a nice useful tool that's not really covered so much in the game. Um, now the last thing I wanted to talk about uh, as soon as I load back into the freaking... I, <sighs> I hate loading screens. The eternal loading screen is my enemy. So as soon as you go back to town, I notice a lot of players um, don't notice right away, and they don't know. So when they get quest rewards, that um, they think that you only get one skill at a time. What you actually can do though is, as soon as you talk to Nessa, um, and anytime you get a skill gem or complete the first quest, which the first quest is just killing Hillock and getting to town, um, then she sells a whole bunch of gems. Now. Until you, if you're a new player, um, you won't have access to as many gems as like a veteran player will, because veteran players will have um, gone forward, and as you continue beating um, 
the storyline and the quest line and stuff, more gems will become available to you. However, these gems that are originally available to you are only available as far as your class is concerned. So if it's a quest reward or a normal unlockable for your class, then it'll be here. If not, you'll have to wait a little bit and I'll cover that later. Um, in a separate video as to where you can really buy all of your gems in the game But this is just just so you guys know you aren't limited to just choosing one gem of the ones that you get from the quest reward You can go by and buy any of the gems you want so you can try out a whole a whole bunch of skills And as soon as you want to um, so this is all my video is really gonna cover I just wanted to do a quick video um, Just for newer players to just talk about a couple of things that should be able to help you out a little bit early in the game um, so I'm going to keep doing my 101 series, it's going to be diff just covering different topics each week about different items and things like that, and what you guys can do, and what you guys, um, as new players might not fully understand or may not have seen before, so this is definitely just something I wanted to cover. So, I'm going to catch you guys all later, I'm going to get to leveling, newbie out.